Good evening, and welcome to another one of my episodes of A Verse a Day Keeps the Muslims Away. Today I'll be talking about four, not verses, entire chapters, or actually just chapter titles. I know in the past I have said that <clears throat> I'm not qualified to, you know, interpret the Quran. However, today, I am very well qualified to interpret the linguistic aspect of the Quran. I would like to bring your attention to a few, uh, actually just four little <clears throat> ayat or suwar. The first one, Al-Mu'minun, the believers. The next one, Al-Munafiqun. The hypocrites. Third one. Al Kafirun. The unbelievers. Now the last one. Al Mutafifin. The defrauders. Hmm. I don't know if you noticed the first three I <clears throat> that I said. Al Mu'aminun. Al-Munafiqun, Al-Kafirun, all end with un, the sound un. In Arabic, that, de that denotes the uh, nominative case. The, in this case, Jama' Mudakkar Salim Marfu'a, which is the subject of the sentence. So when you're talking about the uh, unbelievers, when you're talking about the hypocrites, you'd want to use the nominative form of the noun or you know you don't want to use something else however when we go to al mutaffifin it should actually be al mutaffifun because al mutaffifin the way it's written in the quran it is actually either in the genitive or the accusative case which is where it loses the wo and takes the ya. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> let me give you an example. Unfortunately, English has lost all cases, so there's no way for me to really give you an example in English. But let me give you an example in German, for example. If you want to say in German, the boy is good, you'd say, der Junge ist gut. Now, you want to say, I see the boy, you say, ich sehe den Jungen. So, we have the nominative where the boy was the subject of the sentence, was der Junge. And then when the boy became the direct object, you say, den Jungen. And this is exactly what's going on here. It is giving you a name of a surah. It's trying to describe something about the mutaffifin, the defrauders, yet it's using the accusative case, it's using, the, using it as a direct object when it's just a nominative, when it's just the subject of the entire surah. How can God, Allah, how can Allah make this mistake? Does Allah not know Jama' Mudakkar Salim? The, the sound masculine plural? I'm just wondering. He, he seemed to have gotten it right in the three other places where the sound masculine plural was used, but he missed out on that one. Sorry, guys. <clears throat>